What is up, you guys? You have not seen a photography display breakdown video in a little bit. Um, I don't know. I haven't been, been doing too many photos recently. Well, I have, but it's been for an, for uh, animations for Spark Eater 2, the extract, which, which, by the way, if you haven't seen the prelude to Spark Eater 2, link down below. Um, that just dropped. I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying that, and if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. It's on the channel. Link in the description, too. So, yeah, I've been busy with that. Other stuff, news videos, y'all know me. Dioramas. But, here we have this, and basically, the gist of the story right here is, so... Ratchet came under fire, so he's getting kicked back by the explosion there as he as he was about to stand up as he's transforming. And then uh, Optimus and Bumblebee were back there. They just got up there, transformed, or, bu or Bumblebee's about to be fully stand... St fully... <laughs> wait, wait, what? Fully stood up, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Uh, from transforming, and Optimus is standing there with his weapons drawn, similar to, you know, Rise of the Beast during that scene in the jungle where uh, him and Primal were like, Autobots, take cover, blah, 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 stuff like that. When um, Air Razor went rogue, I sort of went for that sort of pose with Optimus there with the gun and the blades. Uh, and then last minute, Ironhide, and I'm not going to say Dino, I will say Mirage this time. Uh, they they uh, swerved in from, let's say, the left here. They swerved in, they did their little turn, and now they're about to transform. Uh, Mirage is already transforming, and Ironhide is about to transform right there. Uh, and then you got some smoke effects there for the little swerves from them, you know, coming in, driving by. I was originally going to have Ironhide, Mirage, and Optimus all in vehicle mode. That's why I got this other Optimus figure right here in truck mode. Uh, but then it just didn't look right. I didn't like the story behind it, so I just, you know, opted for this instead. Pun not intended. Opted. Optimus. Hell no. <laughs> that was a terrible pun. But the lighting here, hmm, this is what I got set up. So two... On the nighttime backdrop, this is basically during the nighttime or early morning, whatever. Uh, so two of those lights on the backdrop. This light overhead, just for the whole atmosphere of the picture, for some extra light. Got a bunch of room lights on the roof spread out all over the place here in my room. So there's that. And then you got two of these, what I like to call snake lights. I think that's what they're officially called from Ikea. I think that's when they're made. But I think these are discontinued. So if you try and look for them, you can't really buy them online. But these have come in really handy the past four years for my art. So uh, if you can find them, go ahead and definitely get them. Uh, so one right there lighting up the explosion. And then one lighting up the explosion and ratchet for the front to really make it look more uh, believable, I guess. You know, having the light on ratchet as well from the explosion. And not just the explosion being lit up in ratchet and not having any explosion light on them. That would just look weird. So that's why I did the front snake light right here on ratchet. So that came out pretty, pretty nifty. So all in total, five lights set up, which is pretty typical for a Chris Jam photography session. Um, you know, five figures in here tried to make it a bit more dynamic. Lately, the most I've been using is like three or four, so I added an extra one or two up in there, depending on the day, you know. So five Transformers in this pick, and I think they're all focused in pretty well. I'll give you guys a little... Uh, shot here on the camera there's the settings i don't think i really messed with anything particularly it's pretty typical chris jam photography sessions or uh, settings not sessions jesus um and then there's the shot if you guys want to see the full high-res version i don't know if it's going to be up on my or on any of my social medias by the time this is uploaded on youtube you guys will know when it's uploaded here on youtube but uh, if you guys want to see the full high-res version wait for it on social on any of my social medias depending on where i post it or it could be here on the youtube community post i don't know but yeah that's basically how it looked the composition did a little bit of a dutch angle with the camera and a raw look at right there got the grid open as always so i could set everything up to how i like it you know with the symmetry and the asymmetry so yeah 
five subjects, you know, ratchet, ratchets off to the side to really give more of a dramatic effect for the blowback there. You know, Iron Eyes cut off a little bit for some more dramatic effect. Optimus in the sort of the center, I sort of off tilted it a little bit to add more of like, um, I guess you could say a dynamic look to the picture so it's not perfectly centered. Uh, Bumblebee. He's on the side of the shot, fully in frame. Same with Mirage. So I tried to set everything up in a specific way, but not, you know, your typical, uh, you know, standard photography way. I really tried to spice it up just a little bit. So I think it came out pretty, pretty nifty. Let me turn this bad boy off. Don't want to waste the battery. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this photo. A little dynamic, you know. Got that explosion effect from, I think that was Bandai Tamashi Nations on Amazon. I think you could find a pack of these explosion effects, like a five, six pack for like 20 something dollars. So I'd invest in that. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think that pretty much sums up the breakdown of this shot. I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, expect um, uh, Jam Picks volume, what is it, seven or eight? Sometime this month, along with my stop motion montage that I've been <laughs> teasing for like three, four months now, I'm finally going to be wrapping up with that soon. And of course, Spark Eater 2, the extract in March. And again, of course, if you haven't seen Spark Eater 2, the prelude, I dropped it a few days ago on Friday. Check it out, link down below. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.